funny and interesting news number two. DJ Academics has decided to declare war. War, 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 war. Nobody is safe on Rory from the Joe Biden podcast. And um, I'm all for it, man. I don't know. Again, it's really stupid. It's really dumb. It makes no sense. Um, no one really wins from this. And um, if anything, it's maybe a further illustration not further illustration it's maybe a reminder to people if you just don't rate somebody you probably should spend as little time as you can possible talking about them insinuating that you don't rate them um downplaying their name kind of you know saying shitty things about them in passing because the moment they decide to react the moment they decide to retaliate you're not gonna like the results of it and especially in the hip-hop community right dj canaris has always had a little bit of a problem um, with how he's been perceived especially post i think yeah my theory is that whenever when as soon as dj Dickner obviously you know strategically decided to jump on complex and do the everyday struggle alongside joe budden right during the epic nine months run and a lot of the reason why he did it was because he wanted to be more famous that's my opinion right he wanted to kind of be a more of a personality in front of the camera and not just a guy that sort of speaks um um sort of and it's or sort of kind of speak does a voiceover for his videos on his youtube channel or if it may be a post you know um snarky comments um or captions on his ig post he went to be more of the voice of the younger generation speak to the lils and the whatever it may be called um and that's obviously it worked for him in the long run but i also think as soon as he did that he was also exposed to the industry which he wasn't really exposed to prior maybe he got communication with labels posting stuff up and whatever it may be but he never had any experience dealing with the many individuals that are involved with the music industry right the corniness the fronting the posturing um, and of course the artists as well so as soon as he got into that fray he quickly realized that however he thinks of himself or whatever his fans think of him the industry thinks is completely opposite especially the industry that would like to pretend they're the cooler kid in school call the kid in class right the big bad bully type people they sort of look at him like the dork they sort of look at him like the you know nuisance um somebody that's exploitive exploitative de uh, destructive bad influence blah 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 whatever you want to label to towards him right I, if anything i still think he's a symptom of the industry at large i don't think he's a um he's at fault for anything he just you know essentially is a reflection on what the industry is and you know no one likes to look at their ugly reflections so i guess that's why people react to him negatively but over a prolonged period of time because again because i've been a fan of the joe Biden podcast for a while but it has been a sustained thing whenever academic's name would get mentioned especially during joe's time everyday struggle there would always be a kind of um collective sunning and dismissing of academics and his platform which is okay at that time because i think you know they don't they're never going to be friends they're never going to appeal to the same people um some of the uh, most of the artists i'm assuming the academics you know sort of uh, profiles on his platform um marl and rory would never listen to so so I, I got the kind of, you know, I got the kind of an adversarial nature of their relationship. But as time went on, you did kind of get the feeling a lot of it was like, why are you wasting your time? Or well, directing more Joe, why are you wasting your time talking to this bozo? And when it gets to that level, especially in hip hop with people's egos, you obviously kind of leave yourself open to the person retaliating in ways that you probably might not deem to be the most morally correct and which is where we ended up in a situation we are now at the moment right they took constant jabs at him um he obviously replied in some extent i think they took a lot of pleasure in didn't see mirror shitting on him he obviously didn't react well to that because i like crying on stream um obviously the amigo situation made him look more like a pussy to in their eyes so there was always this kind of unbalanced sort of um attacker act and then i don't know what happened what why this changed suddenly i just switched completely and just kept putting the pressure on morori or Mo, right just really being really disrespectful and stream saying the most craziest things about these guys and it's really odd because joe budden's obviously good friends with academics still friends i mean in industry sense which will always run me up the wrong way i never really understood that i think if i was Mo or rory i would really be an angry upset that Joe maintains some level of friendship with academics when he's so openly disrespectful to those guys in public and says all manner of really mad shit about them and their position on every um, Joe Bunda podcast and how they get paid and insinuating that they're basically workers and all that, like just stuff that is really disrespectful that you would imagine be disrespectful regardless of who it's coming from even someone you don't rate you don't just let someone talk to you anyway any way shape or form so you'd imagine Joe Budden being their friend he would maybe side with his friends more who he says are 
about his close friends and he couldn't do the podcast with anybody else apart from those guys but he doesn't he went on live stream with academics a few times in between the insults or during the insults um when they were bigging up the everyday struggle team when they ended um he made a point to kind of shout out Ak, and they obviously like now nah, don't shout him out only nessa and so Nessa, only Nadeska and somebody else, right? They all went out of their way to kind of make sure, no, we don't rock with that dude, you do. And he's still maintaining friendship with him, which is odd. But, you know, this is Joe Budden. He's a strange guy. But I think if the shoe was on the other foot, I think Joe Budden would be a little bit upset if those guys remained friends with people, somebody he clearly had an open beef with. So it, it continues. And now we're in a position where in a recent podcast, um, on a recent live stream on Twitch, academics went on a mad rant, like 47 minutes long. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but it's like a little two minute clip here. Someone loaded up and it on YouTube where he essentially insinuates that he is kind of privy to some information that push, that kind of uh, alludes to the fact that um, he might know he has information that, that he, yeah, he has some information supposedly that alleges that Rory has cheated in the past or is cheating with um um with his fiance and yeah he's sort of basically threatening him threatening him with releasing that information and kind of holding it out over his head and basically goating him and baiting him that if he replies in any way shape or form he's going to just launch a flurry of insults and revelations on his head top in in the hope of kind of essentially ruining his uh up and coming or potential marriage and if you've watched the end of year podcast rewards thing that he did at the end of the year for the job podcast what they mentioned something about weddings and parks was like talking quite positive about his and then you know a bit of dead air and then rory said let's just move on so there's obviously some issues there with rory at home which i know i think as fans that we've basically seen he's kind of been going through it these last couple of months like probably all of us have and you know at, the reasons why he's been going through it are varied and kind of deep and who really knows his business that regard but the fact that Ak would go stoop this low is obviously disappointing, but we shouldn't be surprised, right? He's kind of shown us who he is over the years. Um, and a part of me still thinks that Rory and Moore have, uh, are only people to blame for this. They've constantly taken jabs at the guy. He's clearly somebody that doesn't necessarily abide by any sort of code or um, whatever it may be, right? He doesn't have one of those things. So he's definitely going to do whatever he needs to do in order to make sure that he doesn't look the chump in it because he's just fed up of being kind of looked at as an idiot or being taken as a fool, right? He sort of stood up to Meek Mill pretty bravely, I thought. Of course, over the internet, not in person, still different because he saw, he kind of seen how he reacts on, in real life when the whole Migos situation had happened, right? And you're sort of twitching with a microphone, but you can chalk that up to just first, um, sort of first confrontation jitters. But it's, I don't know what's happened with Ak. He's just, something switched in him. He's just like, I'm not taking any more disrespect. And he decided to kind of air out Rory's business. And this is a little clip where he's kind of insinuating the fact that he kind of has information regarding um, Rory's um, <laughs> potential uh, marriage that he's going to unleash to the world and in the hopes of wrecking it. Mm. You call my bluff. Finish him. I, fin yo, I finish him in the most exquisite fashion. You know me. Ak is a gladiator. I live for the people. When a nigga challenges me, I say, people, is it this or this? And whatever they say, I'm with it. That's the difference between me and you. I made my life for this whole entertainment shit. You a bum trying to live some fake-ass existence and an ad-lib of the joke. I'm only sparing your ass because I'm a man. Hmm. But you did show up to my crib, which which violates all type of codes. And oh yes, yeah. so that's a bit in it, right? So I, I guess in within the within this sort of back and forth along the way, somehow it was alluded or it was kind of insinuated that um, Rory got a hold of Academics' address. I think he tweeted or tweeted out the zip code, and then he decided to go around and drop a card in his post box or something, and was kind of like. It's a, the, these sort of weird power plays and Ak didn't take too kindly to it the fact that number one he knew where he lived and number two that he would kind of threaten him in this sort of passive aggressive way and he's just not having it man he really isn't having it bury him I'm like you should bury this fuck nigga man bury him bury this nigga man but perhaps and by the way chat Remember I said this, ripple effects don't happen. I don't got to say shit. Ripple effects don't happen. You know why? 
I've been waiting for y'all to make it to the altar. Sign the paperwork. <laughs> anyway. Big Suge Knight energy, innit? Lows. Yo, Grand Wizard. Don't say a word. Grand Wizard. Grand Wizard. Grand Wizard, my lieutenant. Grand Wizard, my lieutenant. Grand. Grand Wizard. Spam in the chat. Yo, nobody type but Grand. Nobody type but Grand. Grand, did I not send you the proof? I said, I said, Grand, I can't believe it. It's it's at least two months, and I told him, don't tell nobody. Hopefully, they didn't tell nobody. Grant, I fuck with you for that. But it's 2021, man. We got to get this shit back later. <laughs> Yo, I got shit. Yo, Grant started in 4K, nigga. I know it was cute when niggas said I bought a G Wagon. I ain't buy shit. Rui, what'd you buy? And there's some sort of insinuations about Birkin bag, but you get you get the gist of the situation and um what do I think is gonna happen next? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Rory's in a lose lose situation. If he beats up academics, no one cares. If he doesn't answer, he's a pussy. Um, he essentially played himself in the situation. He got himself involved with somebody who has no real, uh, I don't say ethics, moral, whatever it may be called, right? He doesn't have that thing, right? Because it, part of the issue that I have with this isn't that they have they have beef. People don't like each other. They can argue. They can have their beef. They can fight. It's the tactics he's using. If you want to draw somebody out, you just draw them out. You don't need to draw them out um, using their girlfriend or using their fiance. I think that's some real sucker shit, right? That's obviously, it's not even a bro code. That's just like, what are you doing? If you want to draw me out and you want to actually scrap, you want to settle this one term for all, there's a ways you can go about doing it. It doesn't have to involve my lady, my family. It doesn't need to go that way at all. Um, and kind of drawing this out into this weird sort of dramatic reveal. I know your dirty secrets game. It's just like, what are we doing? Like, what are we doing? Um, if it's a tip for tap thing, because if it's a tip for tap thing, I'm sure Rory can get a hold of information that the academics wouldn't want there to be public because you know in terms of bozo moves i'm pretty sure academics probably done a lot more bozo clownish type stuff in his life that he's been embarrassed about they wouldn't want people to know i again i assume who knows maybe he's told his chap guys that but i'd assume a lot of the stuff he's done that he's kind of wants to keep under the wraps he wouldn't want them to know so he could they could go for tit for tat and then who wins there no one really wins if anything both people end up looking the corniest obviously in axe eyes it's probably another w in his belt because he's taken a lot of L's publicly right he's been sunned by a lot of people and he's standing up to the likes of Rory on a very popular podcast somebody that he's sort of friends with who's very influential in the industry and Maul of course who has his Jay-Z and Rock Nation connections so they're people that you probably you know if you were sort of like media trained and worried about your industry links you wouldn't want to beef with but the fact that he's standing up to them shows that he's sort of willing to sacrifice whatever industry connection he has to make sure that his pride is intact which is you know commendable even though it's a bit questionable the way he's going about it um and then of course you know the mick mill thing in it like it's another real big indication that he's just not I'd, again i'd love to know what happened something happened with act where he just decided enough is enough no more sunning on me in public um and i like the energy i've got to be honest i don't like the approach i don't like how he's going about it but i like the energy i like the fact that he's like nah enough's enough i'm not being bullied anymore um, i'm not going to be blamed for the ills of hip-hop i'm not going to be blamed for people shooing each other people overdosing on drugs people not selling enough records whatever it may be right that people sort of pin on him it's sort of like nah enough i'm just a mirror of what you guys get up to and if you don't like it stop doing stupid shit which is you know i fairly kind of agree with but of course he does insert himself a little bit too much in some bits and pieces the whole six nine thing was really disgusting i think to watch from the outside in considering the amount of people's lives that that guy ruined with his snitching forget that what forget what you think about his crimes just what he did with the actual act of snitching and how it ruined people's lives was really bad and the fact that he came out being unremorseful a bit it's just rubbed people the wrong way so i think him inserting himself in that situation was odd the war and shower act stuff you know of course his karmic um consequences for that will come when they come if it doesn't it doesn't but again that's not something i can really comment on or don't know too much about it but 
I'm interested to see how this ends up, man. I'm really interested to see how it ends up because I'm a big... I just don't think there's only going to be any winners here. Like I said, if you're Rory and you beat academics up, so what? If you're Ak and you end up beating up Rory, so what? Like, I don't think anyone wins. I really don't. Like, yeah, it'll be a bit of a W on someone's cap in for the short term. But long term, will anyone care? Probably not. Everyone just moves on. No one wins in this argument. Um, No one wins in this debate. No one wins in this beef. If anything, again, it just exposes or shows up Joe Budden for being um a bit of a shitty friend. I think if this was him in Roy's position, he would never be happy with the guy sort of like jokingly being friends with the other dude that he sort of beefing with openly, you know, um, you saw and then again like you have to give Rory credit I think Rory was the one who walked out of that Drink Champs episode when they started talking spicy about Bob, about Budden right about Joe Budden and he sort of like stood up for his friend and said hey I can't be in a room if you guys are going to speak ill about my friend and he left again it was a bit of a dramatic thing maybe a bit of show but he still showed how honourable he is as a, as a friend and I think Joe Budden hasn't done that it's felt like so far in public even right maybe he's done it behind the scenes and he's told both people to chill out and they're not listening to him who knows we don't know but so far from what I've seen he's been a little bit too happy to just kind of laugh at the drama as it's going on and now look at the situation that they're in the academics is threatening to ruin uh, Rory's marriage and Rory seems like he's on a real bad streak of emotions and he might act out and do something he might regret no one's gonna win here but let me know your thoughts down below who do you think wins in that battle